So now it's time to hang the drawers. Uh, I have my own unique way of doing this. Uh, if you have a method that you're comfortable with, by all means use it. But I will go through how I do it. Uh, I'm going to start with a file drawer. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Accuride 4034's uh, black, 16 inches. There's two parts. This part goes on the side of the case in here. This goes on the drawer. I'm going to start by attaching this guy to the case here by way of this oblong hole and this one here. They're kind of racetrack shape. They allow for an adjustment in and out like that. And if you can see right here, I've got two gold marks. When those gold marks are lined up, what do you see in the side of there, inside of there? You see that oblong hole. That's going to give me access to that hole when these are lined up. Okay, as you can see, I've got a spacer here, 10 inches, rests down here. That's where I'm going to position the slide this way. I've got another spacer, one and a sixteenth back from the edge. I'm going to have about a, oh, between an eighth and three sixteenths of a bit setback where that from the drawer front to this here. This one and a sixteenth should provide that. So uh, this guy is short enough where he avoids that little hook. Now I'm going to line up my uh, gold marks. Put this guy up here, position him back where, oops, I lost my gold mark line up. There we go. There. And I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to pencil in that opening there where I know where it's at. Now I'm going to do the same for this oblong hole back here. But I need to run this guy. This is our reference surface right here for the face. Uh, and I need to run him past that. But you can see right here, there's still a little bit of reference right there. So inch and a sixteenth back and find our pencil. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Six inch and a sixteenth back. And there we are. So now I have a reference where to drill, pre-drill for those screws, for those oblong holes. We're drilling right in the middle with an eighth inch bit. Okay, now we can hang these guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can line up our gold marks. Set back. Okay. Yeah, we're still good. So now we can get that back one a little easier. Okay. Now on to the drawer box. Okay, I've got another spacer for the drawer side here. I've worked it out to be seven and a quarter inches. And basically we're going to do the same thing. This goes flush to the front of the drawer box. But I'm going to be doing 
This time I'm going to be doing the vertical ones. That's going to give me adjustment in that direction. So same thing. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is eighth inch uh, material here, this um, template here, the spacer. Um, it will clear this little tab here. Thicker material, and this, it'll run into that. And now, I'm going to run those. Flush to the front. Turn it over, do the other side. Okay, you see I've pulled the slides out. These guys are going to rest on top of there, but there's a little more to it. Let's zoom in right here where I can uh, explain. So, you can see there's a flange right here. There's also a flange right here. This one fits over right here, over this flange right here. And, but there's more than that. There's also this little lever here. It has to fit in this hole right there. So when we install, put the drawer in, we push it forward and that flange curls around that other flange, makes contact, and then we're gonna hear a snap when that lever goes in. So when you're removing the drawer, you got to lift up this lever right here and pull it out of that little hole on both sides. And it comes right out. So the drawer box is mounted uh, just temporarily. It's just got two screws on each of the uh, components on the uh, drawer box and two each on those part of the slides that attach to the case. Uh, at this time, the only adjustment that I'm worried about is those slides that are attached to the case. Are they in line this way? In other words, if I push this back, where does it, does it stop on one side before the other? When I get it all the way back, can I, if I push to one side, will it cave in a little bit? This side goes in just a little bit more. So when I pull it out, it should be the opposite. It should be, yeah, okay. So that tells me that this slide has to go in or that slide has to go out. Uh, so I'm going to go back and adjust those until when I push in, it's solid. There's no pushing in more on one side than the other. So for these drawers, the pencil drawer and this top drawer here, I'm using Acuride CB3832ESC, 16 inch black slides. These guys are kind of neat. They have this self-closing mechanism. That's kind of neat. Uh, one difference is this piece here isn't setting on top like it did on this guy. It's in here, here. But right here, this is how you get them apart. There's a lever that needs to be pulled down and they come apart. Now, the numbers are a little different, the uh, spacing and stuff. This guy's a 3 16 off that point there, the top. And, but it's still the one and a 16th back Still the same with the um, mark these oblong holes. You'll mark that one and that one. Uh, pencil them, then pre-drill, mount the slide. Same as we did on these guys. Now to, to mount this guy on the drawer side, we're going to be using 
a half inch spacer. And this guy goes flush to the front. So much the same, just different size spacers. So you can see that I put double back tape on the drawer box here. I'm gonna put this guy up there with spacers in place and press him on. Well, let's do it this way. Press him on to that double back tape. stays. Looks like it is. Let's carefully I'm going to move it in again and see that is exactly where I want it. So I'm going to if you notice here I've got some leather on these guys. I've got finished product here and at this stage in the game I don't want anything to get scratched okay now we'll take this guy out and take him over to the bench number eight by one and a quarter flathead wood screw 1164 tapered bit to pre-drill with and I would definitely pre-drill if you're especially if you're using Bubinga. Well, let me come back. Battery just died. Fresh battery. Let's do this again. Okay, all the drawer fronts are essentially the same way to attach them. So one last check to make sure we've got an even gap. In this case, I do. Your distance back should be pretty well set by this point. Uh, the one place where you may have a problem is if the gap along here may be tilted up or down or whatever. Uh, let me open this up and I'll show you where to adjust that. So if you need to move one side of the drawer front up or down, loosen this screw here and use this little cam guy right here to move it up or down. I'm not going to do that here because I am just where I want to be and I don't want to mess with it.